Hello the internet. It is Wednesday the 16th of March 2016. I didn't actually just come out of that off license. I just wanted to start this piece in front of an off license to give it some contextual geographical uh, alignment. We are in Norwich in England, which is North East England and it's quite coastal. Mind you, we're not actually on the coast right now, but the city is quite coastal. There is some water down here, which I'm heading towards. I've got a sneaky Newcastle brown ale in my pocket, and I'm gonna just kick back somewhere where there's some water and just enjoy, well, there was sun before. I'm gonna enjoy some sun if it comes back. It's quite a nice little town, city, village. I'm not even sure. Really enjoying this Newcastle Brown Ale. It's a fantastic beer. It's uh, it's really smooth and and I was gonna say casual. That's not what I meant. I've only had one too. Mind you, if we were in Newcastle, I would be doing the same piece to camera. But we're in Norwich. I don't know if there's a Norwich Brown Ale. There probably is. It's probably lovely. I've got a Newcastle. This is pretty much what my days are like on tour. Not all of them. Well, most of them. It's like, we get into, I'm gonna kick, get lower here. We get into a venue at around about two or three in the afternoon. Uh, once the load-ins happened and the band is setting up all their gear on stage, doing all their stuff, that's when I usually get my stuff set up in the dressing room and then get on a map and look what's around and then I get out and try to explore a little bit. It's, I don't know. It's kind of cool, you know, there's, there's definitely cool things to see and cool places to get to. There isn't much time, that's the only thing. And uh, time... Because of the... Yeah. Time. Time is yeah. what he's indicating there. But I do like to just get out locally, like right now the venue is just across this water and like three streets away, so I'm not far from where I need to be, but I've just explored this area. I had a beer, walked around. That's, that's cool, I'm happy with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this big yellow thing in the sky? What is this? This is what Jet refers to as the day moon. I don't have sun here in England. They've got a day moon. Every now and then it just pokes its head out. No one knows what to do. I don't know what this thing is. There's two of them here in Norwich. There's one on this side of the, uh, the, the little river passageway and there's one on that side. I reckon they were joined at some point. Maybe they, they fell down or something, I don't know. Perhaps in the war, who knows? But this does give me a great space with a nice backdrop to do something. I did promise that when I got to triple digits with my subscriber count that I would give a random subscriber a $100 iTunes gift voucher. Last count I'm at 103 subscribers, so what I'm gonna do, can't do it now because I haven't got my laptop, but I'm gonna find a random number between one and 100 Past 100, that's, that's, that's not included. Just the 1 to 100. I'm going to randomize it, and I'm going to give that person the gift voucher. I have a app on my iPhone called Random Number Generator. I've punched in 1 and 100, as you can see here. I hope you can see that cleanly. Now, when I hit randomize, whatever number that comes up with, we will then go back up to the venue and I will go from the bottom of my subscriber list from one through to 100 and count up until I get to whatever number this is and that person nabs it. Let's do it. Randomize, I randomized. Oh, it's 61. You can see that there, 61. No funny business. If you were subscriber 61 to my channel, you just got yourself 100 bucks in iTunes goodness. Mind you, there is one other little snag. I'm in England right now, and then I go to Germany, and then I go to Spain, and then I go back to Australia. So, depending on where subscriber number 61 is situated, you may want local currency iTunes. I don't know. Do I do this in Australian dollars anyway? Do it when I get back? Do it now? I don't know. Let's, let's go back to the venue, find out who 61 is, and, well, Congratulations to 61. And by the way, thank, thanks everybody for subscribing. Thanks all of you 103 now. 
I hope you're getting a kick out of this this vlog. Um, yeah, I know I cop a absolute flogging for vlogging. <laughs> My mates hate it. They taunt the crap out of me, but I'm still going to do it. That's probably more incentive for me to keep going. But I do hope you guys like it. And Norwich, this has been a pretty cool little city. Now let's get back to the back to the venue and find out who actually nabbed this gift voucher. Back at the venue, they're sound checking. This is where I need to be. It's a bit small in here, but it works. Now, I've just gone ahead and hit up my subscriber tally, but what I need to do is I need to count up 61 from the bottom there. Seven, 58, 59, 60, 61. 61 is travel light. That is number 61, travel light. So that there, travel light. That is my 61, 61th, 61th, 61st, <laughs> 61th. Oh, that was legit too. Travel light, you are my 61st subscriber. So you get a hundred dollar gift voucher from iTunes, for iTunes or from iTunes, to use on iTunes from Apple which from me, what? I'm gonna get in touch with you, Travel Light, and we'll take it from there. But to everybody else, thank you so much. Let's continue this movement. I'm loving it. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying this Tracer stuff too, because by the way, this is not all I do, but at the moment, this is all I'm doing. But I hope you're getting a kick out of these guys. Awesome, awesome band. If you've not heard them and you've not seen them, change both those, hear them and see them on my vlog. No, no, no. Buy their record and go to their show. And then watch my vlog. Cheers. We're riding on us and very punctual. In fact, we're the most on time bending rock. Are you gonna go on? You wanna go now? Now, right now. Let's go. Explain to people that don't know why vocal warm-ups take place, why vocal warm-ups take place. <laughs> um, okay. Can you repeat that question in English? The, the question was, explain to people that don't know why vocal warm-ups take place, why vocal warm-ups take place. I'll, I'll figure this one. It was badly worded, I know. <laughs> it wasn't any more clear. The clue's in the name. Now, if you can't figure out why a vocal warm-up takes place, Mm, that's true, that's true. Okay, it's time let, to stop watching now. Let me, let me How just, are you on the internet? Let me rephrase. <laughs> I, should have, I should have been more careful with my wording and said, why do you do this vocal warm-up with the, with okay. the, the lips? This, 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 he does to warm up his voice. Because it's uh, very easy on my voice and it's a nice way to warm it up. Would it also be fair to say it warms up your mouth? No. I'm working on this new one. It's called the, um, uh, the throat release. <laughs> Mike also does uh, vocal lessons if you're interested. <laughs> 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 I actually do. It does, I wasn't kidding. We're in Leeds in the UK. It's really, really cold. So why am I taking my jacket off? Well, I wanted to show you all the new Tracer Zip hoodie. Front design features the front of the Water for Thirsty Dogs triangle. 
The back design, I can't see because I'm wearing it, but I guess you guys can see it. And I'm here to let you know it is available at shows in the UK, here right now, for £30. It's also a little bit thin, given that it's so cold here. It's more of a summer hoodie, but if you don't get it now, you'll never get it. So you better get one now! So aside from the brand new Tracer hoodies with the zipper on this tour, there's two other items of clothing on the merch table that I wanted to talk to you about. And they are men's and female's underwear. Tracer have gone all crazy this time. They've got pink underwear, only one color, pink underwear for men and female. The female variety actually is in a thong or a G-string. Depending on where you are in the world, same uh, item, different name. Now I can't really show you a pair of underwear in a public park like I could the hoodie. So I'm going to go back into the venue, put on the female version, show you guys what it looks like. You can decide if you want to buy it. They're only five euro at the merch table. Pink, looking great. Let's go into the venue and try that. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. Now that that's finished, there's a few things that you can do. First, you can subscribe to my channel here. Then, you can check out the previous minute here, check out a random minute here, or check out the first minute here. And if you're a photographer like I am, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets here.